Hey folks, hey welcome back to the cabin. It is mid-March and this was our first trip down here. My grandson Derek came down, built a little structure here to help keep the wood a little drier. So he's partially done with it and we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to have to get a load of wood. Everything that you see in there is just really soaked and uh, starting to decay. Uh, but it looks nice and cleaned up now. And we'll get this mess here cleaned up. And, yeah, not bad. Tried to fix the wheel of this grill, which broke because the wheels are screwed into plastic and then wheeling it along these ruts especially this gap here when we push it over that it broke the wheel you can see some remnants of pig putty i tried to fix it with but i just tried stuffing it up there and screwing it in and letting it dry uh so what i'll have to do probably to fix it is to fill it with the pig putty then re-drill and re-tap it I don't know if that'll even fix it. You can see this other wheel starting to go too. Yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, maybe what I'll do is just keep it out here permanently. I mean, it's stainless steel. I could throw a cover over it, buy a cover and throw over it. Yeah, rolling it on these didn't work out so well. Anywho, uh, my wife wanted me to get pictures of I think this um, is not really showing signs of budding that I can see. It looks pretty dead. Uh, but this one does too, so I know this one was, was pretty good. Uh, this is her new plant, and it's definitely showing signs of budding. So that's good. Uh, the pine tree looks really nice. All of a sudden it sprung up. Since I uh, put the rocks around it and I don't mow over it anymore. These uh, new trees are budding up really nice. Although this one over here, its bark looks like it's really got that sickness to it. But it's budding up real nice. It's even got some uh, stuff popping out. Okay, um, yeah, I got the batteries hooked up, got the gas hooked up, got the electrical hooked up, and got all the antifreeze out with Derek's help. Taught him how to do that. Um, so everything with the camper went well. Uh, I don't know how this is going to fare. It doesn't look like it's uh, doing too well. Uh, we'll see. I'll go over the garden just to let the wife know how things are going. So my fence in the back there you can see is down. Anyway, these onions look like they're coming up really nice. I think she might have planted garlic, but I don't know. Uh, these will all spring back, apparently. These are the asparagus. Although one looks like it's gotten trampled completely. Probably by a deer. These, uh, this fence is just not high enough. I don't know what to do about it. Um, Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cleanup in here before anything's planted. Look at all this. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. But all part of the fun. Derek is storing his stuff out here and he brought down a load of gravel for me. He's got a nice uh, bed on his truck that has a hydraulic system so he was able to just dump it. And I'll use that for underneath the uh, new outhouse 
and inside any kind of uh, poles I put up. Maybe when I run the electrical, I'll throw some rock down underneath the conduit. Because uh, I plan on running electrical to the cabin this year. All right, folks, that's uh, that's it. I got to get the, get going because uh, I'm going to be on the road for two and a half hours, and it's it's always a long ride. So until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.